Hey people, welcome to the channel, again with Star Citizen 323, checking out the patch of disaster. So, we already know that lots of things have changed, most of them for the worse, and one of the things you notice is you make a heck of a lot, of a lot less money. So we no longer have the combat beacons, those used to be my bread and butter, man. I love those things, paid very well, was fun. And yeah, it's no longer there. It's not only Master Mode, no, you're not even getting the combat beacons that pay so nicely. Um, and I was thinking about doing a little bit of salvaging. I know it has been nerfed or balanced, depending on how you want to look at it. It did need a little bit of balancing. Now, there's a difference between balancing or nerfing it to the fucking ground, which I think is what happened. So, just for cracking a hammerhead with a, a reclaimer, you used to get 250k. That was a lot of money, maybe a little bit too much. Now, it's 30k that you get. So, 30k for cracking the hammerhead. What about salvaging? I mean, disintegrating the entire thing and putting it into boxes and selling it? Well, that's what we'll find out now. So, I, I don't have the 240, I think it's 235-ish, but it should be a very reasonable idea of how much money we can get from a fully salvaged uh, hammerhead. I don't know how much it is, I have no idea. I asked and I got a different answer, so it could be, you know, nothing. It could be 10% of what it used to be, could be half, I have no clue. So, it used to be that we got, no, yeah, yeah, it's over there. It used to be that for Hammerhead you got about 900k-ish, give or take. Um, so yeah, it was on, not exactly a mill, but very close for one Hammerhead. Let's see how much we get. Yeah, I think it would be safe, 900k for a Hammerhead. Let's see how much we get paid now for a fully salvaged, well, nearly fully 240k worth of... Good, so we select our reclaimer here, okay, this is what we have, so 238k, okay, that's 230, right, okay, accepting that, <laughs> Two. so it's, it's about 900-ish, yeah, sorry, 300 about 300k worth of, of salvaging. Uh, okay, yeah, it's a it's a massive. Um, so you're basically getting a, a third a third of what you used to get in terms of of money made with a reclaimer. Uh, yeah, I would have not liked to see maybe a little bit more because it does take a lot of time. This is super time cons so basically you you see what they're going for here um they are going for a number of things that it's quite clear they, they took away the combat beacons those you would get like 230 250k in like five minutes six minutes maybe even 10 minutes if you were not anyway with a corsair you could easily do 200 250k five minutes or so um all of those missions completely gone uh all of the combat that made you good money, yeah, it's no longer there. Um, group, what is it they're paying for group now, for group combat contracts? And let's check here, bounty, group bounty, group bounty, group bounty, 87k, this used to be 90k. And it, man, it is ERT, it takes a lot of time. Uh, and especially now with master modes. So what you notice is, is the following. You notice that everything takes a lot longer than before. Everything pays a lot less than before. Uh, ship prices have gone up a heck of a lot more. And yeah, it's basic, It's one of the 101s of, of pay to win monetization. Which is uh, don't add real new content for people to play because that is not profitable for you. Focus mostly on the things people will pay for real money, which would be ship sales. Uh, that is what people will get into, invested into, uh, rather than play. If they play, they're not making. If people play the game, they're not buying ships. And if you're 
not buying ships, you're not making money. So, no new content. Pretend that there is, though, new content because it sounds awful. So, always do this thing of dickering around with changing this mechanic here, there. And if you do change something, make it so that it takes a lot more time. The good old famous time sink, right? So, time sink, no new content. Nerfing to the ground anything that makes you money. Raise the prices of ships in game so as to encourage even further the idea of, you know what? Uh, I'm an adult. I have money in the bank. I have money in the pocket. I don't have time. That's my problem. Not money, time. So this translates into I'll just go and buy it with cash. It is just a hundred bucks, man. It is just two hundred bucks, man. I can get something a little bit nicer just with a with a, with a little bit of, of CCU chain linking. I can get a nice ship and don't waste you know, 10 hours, 20 hours of my life just to take a look at a ship. Because that's all I really want to look do. All I really want to do is just take a look at whatever new ship they came up with which looks very pretty and cool. And I just want to you know, fuck around with that, fly it a little bit around. Um, but the thing is this guys, flying around ships with nothing for you to do with them, it's not much of a it's not much of a of a game. And the part where I think they really fucked up is with master modes. Because even that thing that we all ended up doing, which is fucking around with our ships, flying around and not doing much at all, even that stops being fun with master modes. So, yeah, it's it's so difficult to avoid the rants, but yeah, you just notice this nice trend. Um, reducing the amount of money made in game and yeah that's what you make with the reclaimer right now it's not the worst of all there's a lot worse things like not having them at all uh, but it is a, a huge huge nerf so yeah <laughs> and keeping in mind the new prices you're gonna be wasting your life here trying to buy something in game so the lesson is finally don't waste money buying in game go and buy with real money and if that's not for you, well, I don't know what is. Uh, oh, just uh, an old cell phone there. Oh no, what is it? Little tablet. Let's just pick it up. Maybe it's the start of a nice adventure. If this was Starfield, I would pick this up and find out that there's something hitting in a... Uh... <laughs> I shit you not. Uh, I killed a guy in, in Starfield, got a little sheet of paper where their base was, and ended up with a damn bad cave and a free ship. Yeah, no, that's a pretty cool game. Guys, see you on our next one. Take care.